and uh, uh, silver is something that you can go into, but be prepared for a wild, wild ride. And uh, the latest person pushing it uh, knows very little about the silver market. And uh, I think he's a dingbat. Who's that? But anyway. <laughs> Who's that? I'll let it go instead here. You're not going to tell us who the dingbat is? <laughs> well, he's been bankrupt twice. Mm. Screwed all his subscribers. The guy's a loser. Well, you know, I mean, I've, I've spoken to people where they've had, you know, 100% of their investments into silver. And it's just like, you know, to me, Bob, I look at it, gold is a monetary metal. You want stability in your portfolio. You exchange one currency to another. It really did take a lot of the monetary factor out of silver. It's now in more industry than, than money. But I think that will reverse, and I think it will go back into more of a monetary metal in the future. But until then, I mean, you're right. It has huge swings. It's not what most people can handle. In fact, you know, all the markets have great swings today. It's very hard to invest in everything, anything. What, without experiencing wildness. That's because of the government. I mean, look at the Dow. In 12 days, 12 business days, it went from 6,600 to 8,000. I mean, give me a break. You talk about volatility. And the public isn't ready for that. Don't even think about trying to trade. Not only that, do you think it's real easy to carry around a quarter million dollars in silver? <laughs> Most people can't. What, in your knapsack on your back? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would be, be just... running around on your knees. <laughs> have to be the jolly green giant. According to DPA News, Croatia's, uh, Croatia is investigating a mass grave of German and local soldiers executed in the wake of World War II. The site of Harmika, 50 kilometers northwest of Zagreb, on Croatia's border with Slovenia, presumably contains 4,500 bodies of German soldiers, including 450 officers that were executed by Yugoslav President Tito's partisans. Can you comment on that? Well, I can go one step further. In Operation Keel Hall, our President Eisenhower turned over all the uh, Ukrainians who were fighting in the German army against Russia. And uh, I don't know, they killed a million people, maybe in several days. Uh, they had them in a valley, and they had uh, artillery uh, trained on the valley, and they just blew them to pieces. And, uh, you know, the remnants were, you know, buried. and uh, And so a lot of horrible things were done. Uh, but that was done on orders from our president, because he could have stopped that. He said, no, the Russians, um, you can have them. And he turned the over to them. The death sentence. You know, they, you know, this leads us to Patton as well. And that's why the United States government had George Patton murdered, because he thought Russia was the enemy, and they were at that time. And... Um, and so they had to get rid of them because the Illuminist policy was that Russia is, you know, supposed to be our ally from now and then, you know, we'll have a cold war with them later. All these things are planned out ahead of time. I only wish I knew when, you know, when I was involved. But I didn't find out until I finished. But I found out only because I was there. And I knew something was terribly wrong. The Congress, uh, I'm not sure if we talked about this one or not, about the Congress and Senate are in the process of passing bills H.R. 875 and S. 425, which would eliminate the organic farming and other small farmers as well as urban gardens. This would have an impact on local farmer markets and farm vegetable stands. Uh, it is supported by Monsanto. Tyson, ADN, et cetera. This is the same approach as, I think we did talk about this, as was undertaken in Communist Soviet Union when they established uh, uh, large farms. 
That's yeah. right. Yeah, we did talk about this one. I mean, that's we did it in the Ukraine, too, during the war. They killed uh, thousands and thousands of Ukrainians. And uh, uh, Stalin was a brutal madman. Absolute madman. Even more so than Hitler. Well, we had plenty of madmen on our side. Yeah. We had Winston Churchill who never drew a sober breath in his adult life. That guy was zonked almost all the time except when he was sleeping. <laughs> well, he's a disgrace. You know, have a man leading a country as a stinking drunk all the time. Yeah. Now it's drugs. Yep. There's a new... uh DVD coming out. I, I watched the trailer on it, and it, 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 it's a, it, it, to me, it's more entertaining. But it, it's called the uh, Life on the Edge of a Bubble. I think you can go to. Uh, they're going back over 200 years. It's supposed to come out next, I believe, the 13th. So you can go to the website or go to the YouTube, and there's several uh, uh, trailers that you can watch. But I, what I saw, it might be a uh, a good DVD uh, because a lot of people who um, are not aware, so to speak, like to be entertained, and perhaps this is one way that uh, maybe they'll. Uh, but let's go back like 200 years with uh, actual uh, different types of advertisements, political statements, and speeches, and so forth that evolve into the, the bubbles that have been created through the Federal Reserve, through the gold standard all the economic downturns and bubbles that we've had and up to where we are today. It's supposed to be a progression. So uh, that is supposed to be, but if anybody's interested in that, you can go to, uh, uh, I believe it's lifeontheedgeofabubble.com. And um, so you can watch the trailers there, and I guess it's coming out. You can sign up at their website. And um, so so if you have family members who um, need to be, Caught what's going on? Maybe you can grab their attention with that, and then get get them a newsletter from Bob. Subscribe them to the International Forecaster, and then you send them to me so they can preserve their wealth by purchasing gold and silver coins. Eight hundred three seven five forty one eighty eight. That's one eight hundred three seven five forty one eighty eight. We're out of time. We will be back on Wednesday, and until then, you have a safe day. And thank you, Bob, for being with us. And have I'll a great see you on Wednesday. <laughs> what? I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you, Bob. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.